Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Shell Shock. Here we have an improv match. We have a new match added to the match card right now. We have Dayton and Nixick going at it right here at Shell Shock tonight. And making his way to the ring. Making his way to the ring. From Roxgoe, Illinois. Weighing in at 105 pounds. Dino! his opponent <laughs> from Rockton, Illinois, weighing in at 140 pounds. And Dayton and Nixick. I'm going to go at it right now. Oh, Dayton with the knee to the gut. Hammering down on Nixick and Dayton and Nixick. They've had a long history together. They've both been here since the beginning. Both have been here since 10 of 11. They've had times where they've feuded for years and years. All the way from 10 of 11 to probably right around, well, Inferno at first was when they became their first tag team championship. And then they basically became rivals again and then became allies once more at the second Inferno, 2013, when they won the tag team championship again. They went on to hold the tag team championship for the longest reign of a tag team championship of a tag team in Fight Night. Right now these two obviously have no interest in tagging together as Dayton calls for the axe handle off the top rope. Oh, and hits Nixick right on top of the head. Nixick basically asking for that one as Dayton looks for the Dayton looks like he could be going for the pin right here. Nope. Picking Nixick up and bringing him up for more. So. And Dayton. Sharp hit to the back. Nixick. He's in retreat right now as Dayton keeps hammering down with those punches to the chest. Nixick on the ground. Dayton just keeps giving him more. Dayton not backing down. He is not backing up. After he and Pater, now that he was just went through a excruciating match for the World Heavyweight Championship with the Pater, not 15 minutes ago. Oh, distracting the referee and hitting Nixick with an object. Of course, the referee, not being able to see anything, can't call for the bell. Kind of like the referee did in Pater and Dayton's match, not 15 minutes prior to right now. As Pater and Dayton were both grounded, Pater's hand went up once, and it's... It, it only went down once, and then Pater started to stir again. But the referee still called for the bell, saying both men couldn't continue, then left the arena. We don't know why. We don't know. We still have not any explanation for the referee's actions, but we all we know is that Colin is still World Heavyweight Championship because after that match ended in a draw, neither of them have become the World Heavyweight Championship, and it stays in the hands of Colin, who refuses. To be, defend his title right here. As Nixick keeps going. Four, five, six, seven, 
Seven punches. Nick six, lucky number. Seven. Got him on the top rope. Nick six in charge of Dayton right now. From the top rope. Oh, what an elbow to the back. And he's going for the pin. One, two, and Dayton powers out. Dayton gets some in-ring action right here, trying to shake his rust off because he hasn't wrestled since Revolution besides that World Heavyweight Championship match. But it looks like he's not doing too shabby. Oh, as Dayton once again gets the momentum over Nixick. Oh, what a kick. What a kick by Nixick. Dayton is grounded once again. Nixick climbing. Looks like he could be going up to the top rope. Pulling Dayton over, Dayton over to the top rope. Oh. Dayton sitting down. One. And. Kicks and punches by Nixick. Another one. Two. What can Nixick be looking for here? Oh, what a kick. What a kick to the side of the head. Dayton is in retreat right now. Ringing out that arm. Oh, and throwing him off the top rope. Nixick right now on the top rope. Could be looking so for some high-risk maneuver. So far away. He's almost, Dayton is almost halfway across the ring. But Nixick's going to jump anyways. Elbow drop. Elbow drop to the gut of Dayton. Nixick could easily get the three count here. He could put Dayton away right here. Nixick has been showing his obvious experience, showing he doesn't have any ring rust left, as he looks like he may be calling for his signature move, the sickness. Oh, but Dayton. But Dayton fighting back, looking for his signature move. Oh, no. Nixick. Nixick with a reversal. Oh, bringing him down on that knee and back down to the ground is Dayton. Nixick in charge once again. Nixick looks like he's having the ref charge. Oh, Nixick just attacking the ref. He looked like he was trying to—he was trying to convince the ref to check on something. What is he bringing out? Oh no, he's bringing out—he's uh, bringing out some kind of foreign object. Oh no, it's those handcuffs. Those handcuffs from Winter Bomb. Nixick with the hitting the handcuffs on Dayton to the side of the head. Throws the handcuffs out of the ring. He's gonna try to wake the ref up for that three count. You know he's gonna put away Dayton right here. Dayton doesn't stand a chance after that hand sh handcuff shot. One, two, and Dayton manages to power out even after good. Nixick hit him. Arguing with the ref, saying it was clearly a three count. Oh. Dayton fighting back. Dayton fighting back. Oh, oh, throws him back into the ring. Dayton off the top rope. Oh, oh, what a leap by Dayton. Jumping right onto the body of Nixick. Dayton looks like he could be calling for the pedigree. Could be calling him for a finishing maneuver the pedigree. Dayton is definitely calling for it. He's calling for it. Oh, Nixick. Nixick reversing before he gets the chance. Oh, and a clothesline to Dayton. Here comes Nick again. Clothesline. He's, he could be looking for that. That super kick. What a super kick to Nixick. What a super kick by Nixick to Dayton. Dayton on the floor once again. He is on the ground. What could he be looking for here? Could be looking for that, that, that submission maneuver. He's got the sharpshooter locked in. This is one of the most gruesome moves Fight Night has ever seen. This submission maneuver, he's just wrenching on that back of Dayton, wearing him out as he could be. He really just needs to hit that sickness and Dayton is out of here. He's going for it. He's calling for the sickness. Oh no, Dayton doesn't know what he's coming for him. Dayton also doesn't know what's coming for him and he turns around. Sickness, sickness to Dayton. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Nixick is about to put Dayton away right here. Hooks the far leg. One, two. Oh, Dayton powers out. Dayton powers out after the sickness. This is a match for the ages, ladies and gentlemen. Dayton looking for that clothesline, that wicked clothesline. Clothesline. Knocking Nixick right off his feet. Looking for another one. Clothesline. Dayton is... About to take out Nixick once again with that clothesline. Come on. Dayton Come on. really coming back right here after that sickness. Powered out of the sickness. And now he's in charge of Nixick. He can do whatever he wants with him. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, conviction. Conviction. Dayton's signature move. Pedigree. Pedigree. Ladies and gentlemen, Dayton is calling for the pedigree. It's finishing maneuver the pedigree. We haven't seen this. Well... We haven't seen this since he pedigreed Noah back when he came, when he made his original return to Shellshock. Before that, we haven't seen the pedigree since he finished off Kong Kong with it. Main event of Revolution. Kick to the gut. Dayton hooks both of the arms. Pedigree. 
three. Pedigree. Nixick is finished. Hooks the near leg. Two. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, Dayton has knocked off Nixick. Dayton has just beat the WWE champion. That may make, make people question why he isn't the World Heavyweight Championship right now. Why he doesn't have the World Heavyweight Championship was simply at the discretion of the ref. But many believe he should be the World Heavyweight Champion after he just knocked off the WWE Championship.